welcome to Andalusia circuit in southern Spain. I'm sure you can hear there is an active track day on behind me, but this is no ordinary event. I'm down here with Michelin. <laughs> I don't mind being interrupted by the sound of a beautiful flat six. So I'm down here with Michelin for the launch of a very interesting piece of new technology. Uh, Michelin are calling it Track Connect. Uh, basically, it's a piece of technology, a physical product that sits within inside the tire that is connected to a special app on your phone that relays data in real time back to your phone inside the cockpit of your car to give you information on tire pressures, temperatures. The idea is the app gives you feedback and advises you to drop the pressures to the optimized amount so that you can get the most out of your track day. Um, the fascinating thing about this is I was literally on track less than 24 hours ago with my 458 Speciali. Um, I was at Silverstone and I came in to, no actually three times to adjust the pressures on my tires. For those of you guys who aren't familiar with uh, track days, what happens when you get heat in your tires is the uh, air inside expands and the curvature of the surface of the tire sort of bulges somewhat and uh, you ultimately end up with less contact patch of rubber on the surface of the track therefore you get less grip less lap times higher wear and the idea of this app is that it's going to give you real-time feedback so you can come in adjust your pressures optimally so you can make the most of your track day so let's go check out this tech see what it's all about um, and then I'll, I'll stop talking and we'll go out on this what looks like a very technical circuit of Andalusia in the Porsche GT3 let's hit it It's the first time for everything. Essentially, last night, Michelin put on a beautiful dinner for us. Um, and this morning, uh, we're being breathalyzed to make sure that uh, nobody enjoyed their dinner a little bit too much. First time I've ever been breathalyzed before on a track day, but I totally get it. So uh, we're gonna go and uh, catch up as well with Ollie Webb. He's in my group. Chat to him for a bit, head out on track. <laughs> Look who's here. Um, when we, I, was, I just asked you this actually, have you ever been breathalyzed at a track before? But yes, you have. Yeah, actually, funnily enough, I've had hair taken and urine and blood, so they're quite strict. This, is what, this is what happens when you get to pro status. Yeah. Uh, I can't say I've ever Sausage, had a breathalyzer at a track. Blow on it, son. <laughs> yeah. No? Broken? Broken. Uh, off the Richter, mate. It's just wow. <laughs> I did have sparkling orange juice, though, not just still. So it might be that. That means you're, you've broken the machine. It's not, it's not used to such purity. <laughs> it's not used to minus. Okay, so slowly, yeah? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm filming this. I know. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's going to be absolutely <laughs> clean. Yes. Whoa, zero point zero zero zero. zero. Which is funny because I had a shot of tequila this morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole new record of boring right there. <laughs> Okay, so while I walk down the, the pit lane to take you over to the uh, connected tyre to show you what this product's all about, these are the three cars we've got. We've got a Gen 1 991 GT3, we have a Porsche Carrera 2S and Ferrari 488 GTB. I believe I'm out in the GT3 first, but let's, uh, let's hop on inside and show you up close shots really of what this thing is because I guess until you've seen it, it's kind of hard to get your head around how your tire can connect to your phone. Okay, into a garage. This is where I can give you a good cross section of how this thing works. So, here we have a cutaway of a Pilot Sport Cup 2, um, and inside there's this vulcanized housing, um, which you're able to peel back like this, and the this is the uh, device that relays the info back to the box, which I believe, is it in here? Okay, this here. So, this is the box that connects and talks to the chip which is inside the tire, and the box connects to your phone via Bluetooth. Now, obviously, each tire has its own chip, so you can get independent feedback on each tire. This might sound really simple, but Michelin have even gone to the extent of engineering their own phone mounts. Now you might say, well, what's the big deal? You can get those really cheaply at petrol station forecourts. Future updates of this app are going to include V8 
video recording from your phone. And so they had to engineer out any vibration that you get from conventional phone mounts. So this might seem like a normal mount, uh, but apparently there's been lots of uh, engineering work going to that too. This then goes inside your car. It's really important to keep this in the middle of your car. So by convention, it needs to sit uh, underneath the central armrest. Uh, that's so it's centrally located between all four sensors. So you're gonna get the most accurate reading. So here's an example of one of the tires we're using. Um, looks like a standard Pilot Sport Cup 2, and for all intents and purposes, this is the uh, Pilot Sport Cup 2 that you would get for a GT3. But there's a really subtle difference. You see just there? There's a laser etched symbol that says connect. Uh, that is an indicator, and that's the only real indicator that you've got as to the fact that these are Michelin connected tires. Subtle, but really cool. Over the coming weeks or months, we should be sent a set. We'll go and fit them because the fitment process as well is really interesting. I'm gonna save that for the next video when the tires arrive. Don't wanna give too much away all at once, uh, but the fitment process is super cool. Uh, yeah, and then let's go and hit favorite track, maybe Silverstone where it's nice and fast, get some heat in, in those tires uh, and see how much data we can get back. But until then, we are here in Spain, Andalusia. Let's make the most of the fact that someone's given us some supercars to play around with. All right, so this is Damien. Uh, he's been my instructor and guru of all things Michelin for the last few hours. The idea now is we're gonna go out on the standard tires pressures, right? Exactly. Experience a, a few laps, get the temperature up, yes, which in turn, pressure. which will, yeah, in turn increase the pressure and then see what the app recommends as it's interpreting the data that's fed back from the new chips inside the tires. So let's make for some speed, see what happens. Okay. So first thing I would like to show you, it's on my garage, I can show you, so we have parameters the uh, Ferrari 488, uh, 911 Carrera S and the 911 GT3, okay? Uh -huh. So this is the, the three cars we have in our garage. So. We are ready to start the application. So I just need to choose my car you will use now. So it's a GT3. Uh -huh. The driving type we will have today, it's on track, so it's okay. The, the track is the, you have the first one, it's the near fuel position. So it's Andalusia, cool. 500 meters. So we choose this one. So today the driving conditions are dry. And this is the recommendation of pressure. Uh, from the constructor, the, ta the car manufacturer, okay. uh, to use the car. And now it is saying it's for hot pressures, uh -huh. so after a few laps. Yep. And the recommendation are two point between 2.1 and 2.3 on the front axle and 2.1 and 2.3 on the rear axle. All right. Five bar in the front axle, mm -hmm. and we can say around 0 0.9 bar on the rear axle. Mm -hmm. Okay, but just we will see what's happened when you release the pressure, when you take the good pressure for the car. Okay, okay, so round two, round, <laughs> round, round two. two. Yes. Okay, let's have a go.
it. Yes, because the surface on the ground yeah. is, is bigger. So, so during so the presentation, that was like you can get up to 19% more contact point or, or something crazy like that. Yeah, yeah. So apparently that's the difference between a like track day tire and a slick. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's, that's a huge amount of contact patch extra. Yeah, yeah exactly. adjusting tire pressures on your average track day but to see it in data what it does four seconds we found on a track that I am totally unfamiliar with just shows absolutely night and day you heard it straight away way less tire squeal front end grip was far superior the back end was much more planted and you could really anchor out harder under the brakes because there was less squirming ultimately it's all about uh, making more contact with the tire and the tarmac. As I mentioned in the car, they've quoting figures like up to 19% greater surface area connection with the tarmac, which is almost the difference of a standard road tire to a, to a track tire. Um, so yeah, the difference is huge. Uh, I just wish you guys could, could feel it. It's more impressive when you can actually feel it through the wheel. It's such a tangible improvement. So yeah, big thumbs up to Michelin. Uh, my set of tires should be arriving soon. We're gonna stick them on the Speciali, which is gonna be super interesting because it's a car for me that I'm very familiar with. And then I'll be able to give you guys a real insight into how that feels and translates to a track that I know well and also a car I know well. So I can go, you know what? The data and the feedback on this is so good. It's also a very new product and Michelin have asked me as well to feedback and give any kind of ideas on what it would be great. You know, even though you guys haven't tried it, in the comments below, let me know what you would love to see from future versions. They're on Gen 1, lots of room for improvement and it's coming soon. As always guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.